What is up, everypony? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at the Sleeping Virus by Sleeping Virus MLP. I would assume that's what it's called since that's the name of their account. Uh, the artwork looks pretty damn good here from the thumbnails of the slides that we're going to be taking a look at today. And I've had this one on my... I've had my eyes on this one for quite some time. So I thought I'd get around to it and I, I thought it'd be pretty cool to do. So let's get started. I still remember it like it was yesterday. Sigh. But sadly, it's been much, much longer than that. This virus didn't come quietly. It came thrashing and screaming, demanding it to be heard. No pony knows where it came from or who was first infected. But once it came, it spread like wildfire. Some new... Holy shit, that's a word. Some numer... <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Some new morbus, some new morbus, insanitas, or madness insomnia made sleepless ponies run rampant with rage. Ponies fall victim left and right. No pony could escape it. And the once quiet kind town of Ponyville was replaced with terror, grief, desperation, and delirium. And now it's got me too. I need to find a cure and put an end to all of this before I lose my mind. Twilight's virus tracker. Day one, as far as I know. Uh, on the to-do list, it looks like tell friends is circled. Get food. Teach Spike about sleep deprivation. I would assume that's what that is. How I feel. Tired, scared, irritable, and nauseous. Stage progression. And it's scratched out. It says things I am happy for. So it's now stage progression. So I'm guessing this used to be something else. Uh, it used to be focused on Twilight's mood, but now it's focused on the virus that overtook Ponyville. So it says stage one, check, and stage two, three, and four are unchecked so far. Tracking, hours of sleep, and then it has like the little arrow that says a greater than symbol or something like that. I'm not paying attention to that too much. Uh, but it says the number seven. Hours without sleep, four. Days since I got sick, one. Notes, stage one symptoms. Um, I don't know what that is after it says symptom. I think that's SL or SI or something like that. But it says nightmares, vertigo, numbness, slight confusion, slight loss of appetite, decreased mood, and make alarms for meals. All right, so this is a really solid story so far. This is pretty cool. It actually has a really nice introduction to this AU. Sweet Celestia, I'm so tired. My eyes sting. But there's only so much time until stage two sets in. So I got to make the most of what's left. First things. First Tell the girls, and hope they're not infected. Spike, I'm going out. Please read the book I left for you while I'm gone. Twilight Sparkle, status is infected. Sanity is 98%, sleep is 48%, hunger is 34%, and health is 75%. Stress is 88%, and paranoia is 30%. In her inventory, it looks like she has a pencil, and I would assume those are a type of glasses. She says, I'm so tired, I gotta tell the girls, I feel dizzy. All right, so Twilight's infected with this virus here. And she needs to tell her friends and she needs to find a cure before it completely takes over. Got you. It's so quiet here. This place has become a ghost town. Small noise. She looks behind her. Okay, my senses are going haywire. That's good. Perfect even. My brain is still awake and working. Fight or flight is still intact. Just great. And then she runs off. What the hell is that? That is actually disturbing. Oh my god. There's Rarity's house. Hopefully all goes well. Here goes nothing. Terribly sorry, but I'm not... Ack. I think, I think she means to say she's not accepting company at this time, but it's Twilight. Sweet Celestia Twilight, you look awful, darling. Quickly, come inside. I'll help you get fixed up. Rarity's status is healthy. Sanity is 98%. Sleep is 88%. Hunger is 24%. Health is 94%. Stress is 68%. And paranoia is 32%. In her inventory, it looks like she has a wool. Or like a wool of thread or something like that. She has a little needle and a cup of tea. She says, what's wrong with Twilight? It's very quiet outside and I hope this all ends soon. Alright. We got a video here. 
Where did Twilight put those books? You'd think if they were that important, she'd put them somewhere obvious. Oh, there they are. What in Equestria is this? VHS? That sounds familiar. Oh, this is that new technology. Moving pictures. I think Celestia gifted us a projector for this last heart's warming. Okay. This video is nearly six minutes. I sure hope I'm right about this. Whoa. Missing signal. Okay. Playing. Hello, viewer. And you are picking up this broadcast. Okay. If you know somebody who did not yet receive a copy of this broadcast, please direct them to the local library. If gotcha. the local library does not yet hold this broadcast, then please lend this copy to anyone in need once you have finished viewing. If they do not own a VCR, then please lend them one as well. Warning, this still is pre-recorded. Okay. You cannot see or hear you. Recently, there have been increasing cases in the small town of Ponyville of a disease currently unknown. Gotcha. No origin to the disease. The rumors of the disease being caused by our princess Lunar House. The disease is not contagious. Oh! Our scientists in Candlelot are hard at work developing a vaccine for treatment for this disease. You may be asking, what is this disease? It is a disease similar to insomnia. The first stage of infection can be mistaken easily. Gotcha. Symptoms can include anxiety, paranoia, hyperactivity, excessive sweating, and weight loss. Damn. This is because the disease peaks on the chemical epinephrine. This is also known as adrenaline, which is a hormone that increases cardiac output and raises glucose levels. The constant hormone circulation throughout the body soon causes weakness, exhaustion, shaking, and nightmares. The unnecessary stress of the body is what causes the nightmares. Nightmares soon develop into total insomnia. This is stage 2. Do not seek out medical attention unless symptoms persist for more than a week. An infected phone will buckle under the exhaustion after 36 hours and fall into micro sleeps. Gotcha. An infected phone will suffer complete and total inability to fall asleep after 48 hours. If you feel you are infected, Please locate a nearby clinic for testing. Stage 2 begins once the infected has shown symptoms of total insomnia for more than 48 hours. The infected nervous system, in an attempt to protect the body from the overexertion, will shut down the body's ability to sleep. Infected brains will forget how to fall asleep after 48 hours have passed. The cause of this is still unknown. It may be possible to retrain the brain to fall asleep to reduce symptoms and increase lifespan. However, research shows that infected phones, after being placed under medically induced coma, react violently as if they were in intense pain. Damn! They die shortly after. Oh! Please do not try to knock infected phones unconscious or let them try to knock themselves unconscious. Phones that have been awake for over a week can experience symptoms of extreme sleep deprivation. These symptoms include extreme mood swings, delirium, chill, loss of appetite, Ooh. hallucination, memory loss, and all previous symptoms. Sounds horrible. It may begin to forget who they are, who their loved ones are, and where they are. This is stage 3. Warning, beware of wandering phones. Okay. They could become hostile, even to phones if they are close to. Oh. The final stage of this infection is stage 4. Stage 4. Symptoms of this stage can include vomiting, choking, oh. Seizure, oh. Oh my god! Lack of word articulation, lack of awareness, oh. lack of perception of time passage, muscle atrophy, Damn. sensitivity to lights and noises, and all previous symptoms. Damn! Please bring Pony to the hospital at this stage. They cannot save him. Holy crap! Those are some effects right there. What the f Fudge? Stay safe from this disease. Take care of your physical and mental health. 
a more very activity has complete to sleep deprivation. Stay close to family and loved one. If you are infected, stay in areas where you are safe and are less prone to becoming violent or panicked. The more energy you got outbursts, the faster the disease will progress to death. Stay in your home with people who can take care of you and make you feel safe. Only go to the hospital if you have been injured or are in need of immediate medical care. Infection testing is provided from smaller clinics. Do not go to the hospital for testing. Princess Celis Shinohana, fine, or voted to remain calm. This disease is classified as a low-risk disease. There are only a few hundred cases. Please continue your daily life as normal. Further information about this disease will be provided through Princess Conferences only. Do not believe anything about this disease unless it comes from one of the princesses. Stay safe, everybody. Static made me jump for a second. My God. So, this is a sleep-based virus, and it's extremely rare for ponies to catch. That would make Twilight extremely unlucky. Because Twilight has the virus. That's actually pretty crazy. Twilight's that unlucky. All right. Please, make sure the door is closed on the way in. Also, don't mind the mess. I wasn't expecting guests. I'm so glad to see you. Okay, Twilight. It's absolutely terrible out there. I hear ponies screaming all night. I hope Celestia and Luna find a cure soon. I mean, what else are they doing right now? Oh, God, Rarity. Do you ever shut up? Oh, damn. She's getting aggressive. Twilight, are you alright, darling? I've never seen you so moody. Sigh. I've... I'm infected, Rarity. <gasps> Twilight, how did you... Don't know. I'm stage one. Twilight's infected? Sweetie Belle, status is healthy. Sanity is 100%. Sleep is 99%. Hunger is 35%. Health is 100%. And stress is 26%. Paranoia is 8%. Inner inventory is a walkie-talkie slash portable radio. And she says, oh no, I hope Celestia finds a cure for her. Hmm, a cure. So Sweeney Belle's okay, that's good. And now we got... It wouldn't pause. Anyway. Equestria Daily. Insomnia virus spreads to Canterlot. A virus found in primarily documented in Ponyville has now been detected in the city of Canterlot. The disease is of unknown origin and has no cure as of late. It presents in a fashion similar to insomnia. Testing for this disease is now being provided throughout Equestria. Princess Celestia is yet to publicly comment on the spread. Information of the disease has been provided on new Equestria technology, which can be found at local libraries. Although the technology is new and vulnerable, it is the best way to ensure education of the virus. Details and advancements will be covered in print as well. We've been assured that Canterlot scientists are researching this disease and looking for ways to cure or treat this disease. It also says Princess Cadence is pregnant? As of current date, no, she is not. This is just a rumor. Interviews with the princess has nipped this rumor in the bud, where she claims for now, my only concern is the safety of my kingdom. Starting a family isn't even on my mind. And there you have it, folks. And then on the bottom, it says new buckball season cut short due to the virus. All right. The virus is spread. Oh, sweet Celestia. And Apple Bloom's just chilling. CMC is coming through the little portable radio. They're calling. Unfortunately, it's leaving us off on a cliffhanger. That's all we got for this. The story is really good. Hey, when was the last episode uploaded? Oh, it was uploaded uh, April 6th, so this might continue. It is a really solid story. I like it. I like that the, the disease, right? The virus. I like that it's not really contagious, and it's really rare for ponies to get. But when you do have it, it is a purely miserable experience. Also, the designs of the characters in this are really, really nice. Like, Twilight looks absolutely stunning. I like the coloration of Twilight in this. And it's a really nice story, a really nice AU overall. So I do hope it continues. I'd love to make another video on this AU in the future. And if you want to check it out for yourself, it'll be linked in the description below. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed. Dislike if you didn't. It's completely okay either way. And that's all I got to say. So thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace. Silver 03 Don't tell Twy, you'll show you why I'm like, I know if you're talking, I prefer to move silent Says you ask Gary, you don't count some pride I'll say, ha, 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 don't die And I tell her that I love her way, fuck, don't lie I'm like, Gary, we'll make you
perfect, trying to 